friends and family sometimes ask me, they'll say, like, why don't you do a nice, well-paid job? Why don't you be, like, a doctor or a lawyer or something like that? And then you could have bought a haircut now and again, and you wouldn't be eating cheese and crackers off the top of a battered old Mercedes. Uh, but life wouldn't nearly be as much fun, would it now? Just your average day on top of a building in Dhaka, working on a story about 100,000 turtles that get killed here every year. This Northern River terrapin is one of only 25 individuals left on Earth, which makes it not just one of the world's rarest turtles, but in fact, one of the world's rarest animals. And he's beautiful. And if you look here, you can see his plastron starting to turn a nice pinkish colour, which means that this boy is just about ready to breed. <laughs> and even though this trade is illegal, it seems to be going on unabated. It's really tough to see because we've spent the last couple of months in Madagascar and now here in Bangladesh seeing these species in the wild. And now here they are behind me, being chopped up alive. So after all the blood and darkness of yesterday's markets. This turtle here offers a ray of hope for a critically endangered species. This is the part of the day that I've been dreading. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm about to be put through Steve's infamous tractor tire torture. Uh, and you've been looking forward to this, haven't you? I have been, actually, yeah. yeah. When you said a, a tire workout, I thought it was going to be car tires. Not bloody, not tractor tyres. <laughs> I'll stay here for, for one week yeah. and I'm going to bring the BBC with me and we're going to turn me into a ranger. So we literally just arrived into Bella Sumer now and already within about 10 minutes of being on the beach, we've seen fishermen bring in a giant guitar fish, which was actually probably only a juvenile and they've taken it to be finned, and then they're going to sell the meat in the local markets. You can probably see behind me, we've just got fishermen bringing in huge amounts of tuna. This is one of the most consumed fish species in the world. We have it in sushi, we have it in sandwiches, we have it on our salads. Join me in my investigation into the tuna fishing industry.